Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Pavin, an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. And I'm Adam, former indoor player and coach, current beach coach, and most importantly, Sarah's husband. The end is near. And by that I mean the end of season one is near. It's, it's kind of crazy to think that we've watched the whole season. But here it's we been are. quite the journey. I, yeah, it has been. I don't ever in a million years thought that he would be this invested in a TV show. That is a true statement. That is an absolutely true statement. <sighs> Today we're watching season one, episode 22 of Haikyuu called Evolution. I'm, I'm, I'm really curious. So I, I've loved everything about this so far. I love the first set where Kageyama had a little swagger, dump back, I love that. You the know, dump back. The dump back. <laughs> I loved, I mean, they had some struggles in the first set, which, you know, probably to be expected. Um, Suga came in and did a great job. Kageyama handled it better than I thought he would. Became a better teammate, watching things off the court, kind of studying. He didn't just sulk when he got pulled, which I thought was, was great. He's going back on now and it's close. And, and what I'm curious to see is, how he handles the pressure because he kind of he kind of collapsed inwards making it all about him i want to win i can't lose this you know to the point where ukai had to pull him off the court which i think was the right decision yeah. you know i i how quickly do people change how quickly do you learn your lesson i'm curious to see like would i be shocked if kageyama goes in and it doesn't go well no i wouldn't be shocked like it that that's a hard thing to overcome in what 15 points of a set so I, yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see, I, I still think they're not going to win the match, but I'm curious to see his evolution as a player, uh, and less about his skill, but more about his kind of internal dialogue and how he approaches pressure and the stress of it. I, I don't know, you can't say anything because you know what happened, so. No, I was just impressed at how long you were able to talk about that. <laughs> just kind of took control, I like it. Well, again, you know, what, well. <laughs> what can you say? You know you know what happens. Spoiler. No, but it's just, I that's usually have to remind you what <laughs> what has happened and you remembered. That's what, that, this is what I've been thinking about. This is what Adam dreams about at night. Haikyuu, is Kageyama going to become a better teammate or not? We'll see. We'll see. We will see. The title might be a clue. I don't know. But... Adam's prayers will be answered. We're diving in. Season one, episode 22, Haikyuu is coming right now. A little bit of strut going, that's a good ooh, sign. Ooh, ooh. Thought he was going for a fist bump there. So did I. <laughs> Just left him hanging. I was like, okay. I was like, well, okay. He tried to smile, you guys, and I almost died. Uh, <laughs> and he threw his teammates for a complete loop. Oh my gosh, half were terrified and half were confused. You love that when you smile at people. Oh man. <laughs> when he showed his teeth, that really did it for me. Holy. Maybe that's the evolution right there, the <laughs> smile. Oh, 
竹山の方が場数多く踏んでんじゃないかなの割にはだいぶテンパってましたけどね影山でその王様早速サーブですけど大丈夫ですかね影山エスワーナイス最高ヘスペース影山嬉しそうだな<笑>ですね<笑>なんか安心するわ何がですかどんな選手でも試合に出る時の誇らしさみたいなのは同じなんだろうなと思ってさ天才だろうが凡人だろうが影山君リラックスですよどうしたいだあ大丈夫ですね<笑>ゾーネン一本で切るよ He knows Yeah, he's like, oh gosh, he kind of smiled a bit. His tattoo cheeks are rosy. Oh! That's, that's stone cold right there. No jump! I just want to say, from a strategy standpoint, that's the problem with, like, they're not watching what's happening now. They're looking for very specific cues as to what they're going to run because they think they found a pattern. But Karasuno switched it and at a key time made the mess, which is huge. What? Yeah. Okay. The, the adjustment and the counter adjustment. Yeah, I just, I just Obvi. Okay, I know. What, what were they supposed, like? Well, I just, it's interesting that it's not a, like a quote unquote technical tell. It's like a, just a pattern they picked up. Of well, like communication yeah. or whatever, anyway. I mean, if it's a technical thing, the coach should probably be on that. Yeah, fair enough. All right. Only you, Zumi, can say that. We will block here with seal the deal. Okay, no. Just a little bit. That was very interesting. Oh. <laughs> I'm driving some spirit in here. Oh! 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 
That might, that might have been down. Great swing. Nice, nice. That's I'm so happy. ジュー番が後ろに下がって、11番が前衛に来ると、カラスノアセンター使う回数が減るよな。うん。単純に飛びよは、あのノッポ君苦手なんじゃない昨日の試合も今日も、まともにコミュニケーションを取ってる感じじ
the paint, the middle paintbrush. That was a tip. I know. Oh, you just turned and walked away. <laughs> nice touch. And then he gets a good touch. No, he's gonna smash this one. Or a saw he will! Again? In your face! <laughs> he did one too many tips for my liking. I know he was setting it up to get them to move and be out of position so that he could attack. I, I completely know what he was doing, but I think he just like overdid the back to back to back. I, I would agree. What did you think of their interaction? Fun to me. No, I agree. It, it was just, I thought it was interesting. Uh, so, we don't know a ton about that character other than he's a little snippy and kind of salty. Yeah, he's okay with a little conflict. But it seems like he's offended, is maybe the wrong word, but like, I'm, sm I'm a smart player. Mm -hmm. Like, and nobody, and nobody is paying attention to that. And they just see that I'm a tall blocker, but like, allow me to have my input in. And as soon as Kageyan was like, okay. Cause he's used to not playing probably with people who think, you know, at, at that level as well. Mm. So I thought that, I thought that that was an interesting concession by Kageyama. I thought it was a great interaction. The like tone of it was a, a little um, confrontational perhaps, but I think the information that was being shared was very productive. And you know, sometimes when you do not enjoy a particular person on your team, that is what the interaction is going to be like. Yeah. Well. As long as like the mutual respect is there to like have an understanding. I, I, that's what it is. Yeah. I think it was key that Kageyama acqu not acquiesced, but like acknowledged his point at least to start mm -hmm. something. So old Kageyama would have just started yelling, but instead being like, what did you mean by that? Yeah. He was like, whoa. And did you see Suga smiling like a proud parent? Yeah. Oh, yes. I, for an athlete like Kageyama, who is so innately talented, but also quite intelligent in his sport, his volleyball IQ is high. It can be hard to give up control yeah. sometimes. I agree. Um, so the fact that he was willing to put his ego aside is massive. To totally agree. And now look, you've stolen two points now. Um, and you've gotten another middle in, which is allowing Asahi to score. So, I mean, best case scenario, I think. And Watari almost got his face taken off by Suki, so. It's not fair that you know everybody's name. I have practice. フィルトを <laughs> Oh, 
Two Set chances. Point, baby. Oh wow, that's a great swing. Who do you think they set on set point? Um, I saw he. No, no setter dump. Oh look who's serving! Are you kidding me? You've got to be joking. This is actually unbelievable. No, he won't miss. He's a machine. I can't believe I just said that. But he is very consistent. If you get hurt, I'm gonna kick you in the spine!
6人で強い方が強いんだろうがボケが I just make sure I understood what just happened. Oh dear. <clears throat> was that they're, they're, they played on the same junior high team, or that was like a camp? No, that was their school. Okay, so he's a third year, and Kageyama was a first year. Yeah. Got it. Okay. That was. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't misunderstanding. So what you didn't. What I asked you a couple episodes ago is like, oh, do you get it? when Oikawa was getting his setter award and caught little Kageyama was in the stands. And you said yes, I was like, I don't think he does. <laughs> so correct, I did not get it. So Kageyama was like looking up to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, oh, well, I understood that part. I just didn't know that they went to the same school. Okay. <sighs> There's a lot to unpack there. What's your second context question? No, that answered both of them. Oh. <laughs> But that's his best friend, right? That's he was the guy. Zoomy, that's number four. Yeah, that's the guy that they're chipping back and forth all the time, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. So, that explains a lot of the animosity between Oikawa and Kageyama. I love the side eye even more now. <laughs> Can you imagine you're just like this little kid who loves volleyball? And you just happen to be like a prodigy of sorts, yeah. but you don't really know that you're a prodigy and you just want it. You love volleyball so much. You just want to learn and learn and play and keep yeah. practicing. And then this person that you look up to and you want to be like, you ask him for help and he like... Tries to take your head off. <laughs> oh, that's got to be the worst. Yeah. Yeah. And also, if we're talking about captain material, it's Iwazumi. Okay. Oh, a hundred percent. I, I mean, the maturity. Yeah. Well, in the in the team perspective. Yeah. Do I think a headbutt is necessarily a great teaching method? Probably not. But. But they're friends you, too. You no, know, I'm I'm being somewhat facetious. Not that I headbutt my friends, but. <laughs> <laughs> I would die because my head is literally this big. I would kill somebody. Adam would like be straight out clubbing people with this noggin. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> sorry, I can't. <laughs> Can you imagine? Woo! <laughs> do, do you know what I'm thinking about right now, though? Demon Slayer. No. Oh. I don't want to think about it. Okay. We're not talking about it. <laughs> All right. Um, so it's, I, I'm seeing this interaction. I'm curious now. Um, Oyakawa's. Oikawa's like mindset and mentality. It looks like he's trying to take that to heart. And and quite frankly, that's an important lesson and to learn at that age is like he should be thankful, maybe not in the way it happened, but that lesson has served appeared to serve him really well in high school. And it's it's not something that maybe a lot of young players have a chance to learn. That's, yeah, he's still Still seems to have a chip on his shoulder about Kageyama though. Yeah, fair. I mean, it's got to be frustrating always feeling second best even when you're busting your, your butt to get better. He is the only one that made himself feel that way though. No. Like that is an insecurity issue. I'm sorry. He was the starter. He was the captain of the team. He was given every opportunity. Like that is a him problem if you ask me. I don't disagree with you, but I think that insecurity and success does funny things to people. It's not Kageyama's fault. No, nope, absolutely not. Absolutely not. him. That's fair. ま、いっぱい。なんと
このショーはうちのスパイカーが一番力を発揮してたってショーだそれでも牛若はさらにその上かよクソ高校行ったら今度こそ白鳥沢へこましてやる当然だそしてトビオちゃんお前がこの先どう進むのか知らないけどいつか戦う時はぶっ潰してやるから覚悟してなよ決め台詞は鼻噛んでから言えティッシュ使いますかうるさい I'm predicting it's going to a Sahi. Assuming this one goes to 15, is that accurate or not? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Adam seems to be gathering his thoughts, so... <laughs> I, I am gathering my thoughts. I, I was trying, I'm gonna stick with my prediction, but I was gonna wait and see if I, I thought it was actually gonna be accurate, but... That does not make it a prediction then. No, I know. I, I made my <laughs> That's prediction. That's cheating. I will stay with it, but given the new information... What I, new information? Just how the sets played out. I no. Was, I was thinking... No. I'm not, I'm not going to change my mind. I, I still don't think they're going to win. But they have, they've played better than I thought they were going to play. So I will, I will give them that. They have, Kageyama specifically has adapted in a high pressure environment, which is good to see. Um, and now they've got all, um, <clears throat> all attackers available yeah. now that they've sorted out the Tsukushima issue. Um, they just got to handle Ikawa's serve and stay cool-headed well, on think, defense. I think the cool-headed part is going to be the thing, right? Like, Seijo has played in more high-pressure matches. They've been there. They've done this a little bit more. Well, mm. no, just more than Karasuno has. And it'll be interesting to see how all of the Karasuno players deal with that pressure. Uh, I'm curious to see which ones step up, which ones maybe have some trouble. Mm -hmm. um, I'm curious 
So, okay, so if you hadn't seen it already, pick two characters who you think are maybe wild cards or are curious to see how they respond under pressure. From Karasuno? Yeah. I mean, we've had chances to see Tanaka in that situation. Yeah. We saw Asahi in that situation last match. Um, Noya, he was getting served at the beginning of the match and like settled down. We haven't really seen Daichi be super tested. And I mean, the middles. Yeah. That's probably what I would say. Daichi and the middles. Fair enough. Yeah. Because was... Daichi's like under the radar all the time. He keeps coming up for like motivational moments or ball control but they don't really set him all that much we haven't and we haven't seen him do anything other than pass a few good balls yeah no that's fair that's fair i think iwazumi's very good though yes i agree the left side yeah i agree i agree we're going three baby we're seeing some progress regardless of the outcome of this match the progress that we have seen in not only Karasuno as a whole, but in individual athletes has been crazy. Oh, I 100% agree. Like, if I'm watching this point in time as a coach, I'm super happy with what the team, how far the team has come and what they've accomplished. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't think you can ask for much more and, and you have a chance to win. That And that's all you can ever ask for is to have a chance to win. Final sets, honestly, they can go either way. Flip the I coin. hate final sets. 100%. Um, let us know what you think. Don't give anything away, though. No, okay. we have two episodes left. No spoilers. We have, we have three. Three okay. episodes left. <laughs> okay, we've made it this far. Let's keep the spoilers to, I was going to say to a minimum, to zero. Um, but we'd love to hear your thoughts. As always, I would be so happy if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned because we're going to start set three next week. Thanks, guys.